Well, it's November the 7th, and Aaron and I decided to come back to the open gate again this morning. We got back to the office after yesterday's sit, and we looked at the footage, and sure enough, that buck that we saw about 60, 80 yards in front of us was a nice, mature buck. Um, it's a deer that we believe Aaron has pictures of from 2014 and 2015, so he's at least a four, probably a five-year-old buck. We have the same conditions, so we just decided to come back in here. It's a couple degrees cooler than it was yesterday morning, and the winds are a few miles per hour less than they were yesterday. Same south-southeast wind, so hopefully we can see that buck again this morning. Well, as y'all just saw, we had that big buck come in for Sean. Um, he ended up circling completely downwind of us after we grunted to him. And the reason why I love hunting this stand on a calm southeast wind in the morning is because that wind is coming off this ridge where they like to cruise, and it's blowing over top of that bottom. That buck did exactly what they typically do when they hear a grunt call. He circled downwind of the sound came down through that bottom but he never smelled us and Sean just dropping milkweed here you can see that those thermals and that wind is actually taking the milkweed up at our height that deer's a good 40 feet below us down in that bottom and that milkweed's floating right over top of him it's a great tool to use because it shows what your scent is doing you know down range away from the stand unlike powder where you just spray it it's showing what your scent is doing right here so with that milkweed, we can drop it and we can watch it follow those air currents down through there. That's why that buck never picked us off in this tree. It's because our scent was blown over top of him. And it's late in the morning for thermals to still be working. But I think because it's cloudy and the sun hadn't had a chance to warm up the ground yet, they're still rising a little bit right here. Hopefully he comes back pretty soon right now. I don't think a deer could smell us anywhere around the stand. Well, it's about one o'clock right now, and uh, Aaron and I are getting ready to, to climb down for the day. I think what we've decided is we're gonna take this set and move it across the ridge here. That's where all the movement in the last two days that we've seen has been, including that nice buck we saw this morning. He was, he was working that other ridge over there, so. We're gonna climb down and we're gonna move the stands about 100 yards behind us to the north and we'll be back in here to hunt that deer the next uh, southerly or easterly wind that we get.